Hello dear ones, welcome to today's class. Today we are moving on to our fourth chapter of our English textbook. So everyone turn to page number 139 of your textbook. There you could see the chapter's title. It's a poem that is titled as A Caller Would Do. I repeat, A Caller Would Do. So today we are going to learn this poem. So before going on to the poem, let us do an activity, okay? So I have put forward certain questions and an activity for you. Okay, so first question, you have to tell me the answer now itself. Okay, do you love pets? So do you love pets? Say yes or no. Very good. Now, have you given name for your pet? So if you have given name for your pet, just tell me the name of your pet. We'll, di we'll discuss the answers of these two questions during our live interaction also. Okay. So now here is an activity for you. Complete the word maze. Page number 139. There you could see a crossword puzzle. Or otherwise it is called as word maze. And you have to complete it. Okay. There are certain names. Names of pets hidden in this word maze. And you have to complete that. Okay. Very good. Now we are moving on to the poem. So I will read the stanza by stanza and you have to follow my words, okay? So here this uh, poem starts with a question. Have you ever visited a pet shop or heard about one? Let us read a poem about a boy who once went shopping for his pet cat. So here we are going to learn a poem where the boy, a boy is a central character and he is going for a shopping to buy some things for his pet cat. So his pet is a cat and he is going for the shopping to buy something for his pet cat. Okay. So the first stanza. Hello, can I help you? Asked the man at the store. Yes, it's my pet cat that I have come for shopping. Well, of course, young man. What do you need? Quired the man. A collar and a tether to start with. Said I, a call of sure yes, but a tether for a kitty? They are for pups. Let's get your kitty a collar bow. Come this way, see what we have to show. So now, a boy comes to the shop, to a pet shop, and he uh, and the shopkeeper asks, how can I help you? So he says, he came for shopping for his pet cat, and he wanted a collar and a tether. Okay, you know a collar bow that is attached to the collar of the cat, right? Have you seen that? Yes. And what is this tether? Tether is a rope or a chain that is attached to an animal and it is attached to a fixed object. That means uh, we are always using a tether to tie up our puppies, right? So uh, here the boy wanted a collar and a tether. And the shopkeeper informs the boy that Collar is okay for the pet cat, but tethers are always used for pups. Pups means the uh, the small puppies. Okay. So uh, we are using collar. Uh, we are using collar bow for pet cats, but tether is always used for pups. So you can't use a tether for a cat. Okay. So now uh, the boy asked to show me a certain collar bows and now the shopkeeper took the boy to another room to show say, so many collar bows for the kitty. And now what happens next? We are going on to the third stanza, okay? We passed by arrays of things and pets. Charmed I was at the sight of colorful lovebirds in hues of pink, yellow, purple and snow. There were rabbits too and goldfish in a bowl. So now, he, now he explains the uh, store, the pet store. Uh, and he could see an array of things that is arranged. Array means there are certain boxes that is arranged in a particular order. And the boy saw so many arrays. That means so many boxes arranged in a particular order. And in that boxes he could see three three animals or three birds or animals. First one is love birds, and uh, he describes the color of the love birds. That you could see on the second line, line of 
the third paragraph pink yellow purple and snow snow means white color okay so he could see the love birds with pink color with yellow color with purple color and the snow color okay and he, he could also see rabbits and goldfish in a bowl you could see the picture on page number 141 the picture of all the animals and birds that is arranged in that shop is displayed okay so you could see array of so many boxes arranged in a particular order and in that box he could see colorful love birds and he also described the color of the love birds what are the colors pink yellow purple and snow just repeat after me pink yellow purple and snow okay and he could also see rabbits and gold fish in a bowl so now moving on to the next page is that a lizard in that box amidst those balls hey but aren't they supposed to be crawling up the walls that's called a gecko some love them as pets to keep others like turtles or frogs that leap so now the boy could see a lizard the boy could see a lizard that is kept in a box and he ask why this lizard is kept in a box and uh, do somebody keep them as pets because they are crawling up the walls because we have seen so many lizards in a house that are craw crawling up their walls right and the boy is confused why why the lizard is kept in a box and why the lizard is sold as a pet so he informs so the shopkeeper he informs that it is gecko just see this spelling g e c k o gecko gecko it's a particular lizard that is found in hot regions okay a lizard that is found in hot or warm regions so it is gecko and some loves to keep them as pet so some loves to keep gecko as pet so lizard gecko is also a pet and others also like to keep turtles and frogs as pets also apart from puppies and kittens love birds rabbits or goldfish people also keeps gecko as pets turtles as pets and frogs as pets also so now coming on to the last stanza of our poem oh then i might want a turtle and a tiny frog only i need to find a pond and a bog sure they are yours are the collar boot too all oh, right i think for now just the collar would do so now uh, the the uh, boy also wishes to keep turtle and frog as a pet because he has seen that beautiful turtle and frog that is kept in the shop and he also demands uh, that he want this turtle and this frog he want to keep them as pet but the boy, the shopkeeper tells him that you should need a pond and a bog to keep the frog and turtle as a pet so you need a pond to keep the turtle as a pet right and then bog what is a bog bog is a spongy wet ground with soil and dead plants so you need a wet ground to keep frogs as a pet and also you need a pond to keep uh, frogs and turtles as a pet because they they live in ponds or or bogs right so the boy boy does not have any pond or bog uh, in his home so he is initially hesitant to buy this turtle and this particular frog as pet so uh, the shopkeeper insists him shall i pack this turtle and this frog too but he says no uh, as for now the collar bow will be enough because uh, he he only want a collar bow now because he don't have a pond or a bog to keep turtle and frog as pets so the boy only bought collar bow and returned home okay so the uh, the poet of the poem is anonymous what do you mean by the word anonymous anonymous means not named or not known we don't know who wrote this poem this is an anonymous poem okay so now while reading the poem we have come across certain new words so the first one is quiet quiet means asked tether tether a rope or chain that is used to tie an animal to a fixed object arrays arrays means large number of things placed in order gecko gecko is a small bird usually found in warm regions then bog a spongy wet ground with soil and dead plants you have to take down this particular new words into your friend's side of the notebook okay so now 
होमवर्क फॉर यू गेट गोइंग एक्सरसाइज ए क्वेश्चन नंबर वन यू हैव टू डू एज होमवर्क यू कैन राइट द आंसर्स इन द टेक्सट बुक इट्स सेल्फ ओके नो नीड टू कॉपी डाउन द आंसर्स इन टू योर नोट बुक जस्ट डू दी डू दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन इट्स अ ट्रो ऑफ ऑल क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू राइट द आंसर्स इन द टेक्सट बुक एंड वील बी डिस्कसिंग द आंसर्स वेन वी आर डूइंग वेन वी आर अंडर गोइंग दी ऑनलाइन इंट्रैक्शन सेशन ओके सो अंटिल वी मीट नेक्स्ट टाइम थैंक यू